unwavering critic of apartheid and an outspoken advocate of black majority rule. Gordimo was born in Springs in 1923. The daughter of a Jewish immigrant father from Russia and a mother from England, Gordimo was brought up as a Christian. A prophetic writer, she was published in 40 languages around the world and awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1991. Her fiction documented the havoc that institutionalized racism wrought on private lives. She was one of the literary world's most powerful voices against apartheid. The Nelson Mandela Foundation says Gordimo was a great writer, patriot and voice for equality and democracy. Mandela had a long friendship with Gordimo, beginning in his years as a young activist and continuing after his release from prison in 1990. More recently, she expressed her opposition to the Protection of State Information Bill. She said the reintroduction of censorship was unthinkable. Friends and fans have taken to Twitter to pay tribute to the fallen anti-apartheid activist. Tribute has also been paid by the South African Jewish Board of Deputies and Proudly South Africa. The family says a private memorial service will be announced at a later date. Well, this is a story that certainly has uh, been, uh, has caught the attention of social media and uh, people have been sharing their thoughts and passing their condolences on Twitter. Let's see what uh, you've had to say at SABC News Online, starting with uh, ANC spokesperson Zizi Kodwa, who says that Nadine Gordimer became the first South African and first woman in 25 years to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Rest in peace, Nadine. Paulo tweeting, you can't change a regime on the basis of compassion. There's got to be something harder. We will miss you, Nadine Gordimer. Another tweet saying no one could weave magic, pain, joy and bitterness into words like Nadine Gordimer. Just read a few pages from Berger's daughter. Now that tweet from Paolo Coelho is a famous, famous author, so recognizing uh, one of his own. Uh, Maduri says uh, Nadine Gordimer passes away. I will ever be grateful to her for writing the pick up one of the best books I have ever read.